Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Sarah Sanders has fun with surprise guest at White House, delivers an epic blow. Sarah Huckabee Sanders has done an exemplary job as the press secretary for the Trump administration. Unlike many of her predecessors, she does the job with great ease and tenacity and never backs down from a fight that is a brewing yet always taking the high road, while also maintaining a little bit of fun on the job. Which is why the latest picture she posted on social media will have you laughing. Sanders recently spent time with Hollywood actor Sylvester Stallone who is most known for his notorious Rocky films. Pictured wearing an oversized red boxing glove and pretending to hit Stallone, Stallone can be seen laughing along in the picture as someone else takes it. Something that is seemingly surprising given the fact that most Hollywood entertainers are liberals and would not be caught DD in the White House under the current administration. The Hollywood actor was at the White House because he was participating in a ceremony where a pardon to the first African-American heavyweight boxing champion was granted. Decades ago, the convicted boxer had been found guilty under the Mann Act of 1913 for transporting a Caucasian woman across state lines. A conviction that was purely race-based and systemically racist in nature. Stallone for years had worked to get his friend a pardon and he raised the issue under the Trump administration after the Obama administration ignored his requests. After the decision was made he told the news outlet Variety that he really loved the president and compared him to a Dickensian character. The Daily Caller reported. Trump said, I am taking this very righteous step, I believe, to correct a wrong that occurred in our history, and to honor a truly legendary boxing champion, legendary athlete and a person that, when people got to know him, they really liked him and they really thought he was treated unfairly. In the remarks, Trump turned to Stallone to compliment him on pushing for the pardon over many years. Now, you know, everybody knows Sly and what a job he's done, the president said. But Sly is a special guy, and he's more shy than you would think. So I won't even tell him, but if you want to say a word, you can, Sly. I want to thank you, Mr. President. It's incredible that you've done this because, it's one thing, I've been so blessed with the Rocky situation and playing that character. And actually, when I was writing it, I'm thinking about inspirations for this Apollo Creed, and that was Jack Johnson this bigger-than-life, incredible character, and who is, you know, treated so unfairly, his prime was taken away, but somehow he still managed to persevere and kept a smile on his face, and he's truly an inspirational character. So this has been a long time coming. So it's an honor to take a fictional character like Rocky, and do something in the world of reality." He acknowledged one of Jack Johnson's last blood relatives who was also in attendance for her efforts working for the pardon as well. Then he said, Keep punching. Jack while looking to the sky. A lot of folks enjoyed Sanders' photo with Stallone including her father. Stallone earned the praise of former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee, who pulls double duty as Sanders' father. Rocky at the Sly Stallone was always one of my faves, but he moved to the top of the list by how gracious and nice he was to at press sec and she plans to use that glove next week in the press briefings. He tweeted. For those who are unaware. The Mann Act which also goes by the name of the White Slave Traffic Act was passed on June 25, 1910 and it was signed into law by President William Howard Taft. The law made it so that it was a felony to participate in foreign commerce transport of women for the purposes of prostitution. It was meant during the Progressive Era to combat what lawmakers felt to be morally wrong. However, because it did not specify the law was often used in ways it was not meant to and it had repercussion regarding consensual sexual activity. Ultimately. The law was misused to punish and prosecute those who were unmarried couples who participated in extramarital and premarital activities when crossing state lines. In some cases, it was used as a form of blackmail by wives who were thinking they had cheating husbands. And in this boxer's case, it was used to try and stop African American and Caucasian American people from spending time together and having sex. By the president following through on this pardon, it is symbolic of the fact that he is not racist and does not put up with racism of any kind. When he saw a loophole in the law that put someone behind bars for something that should not have been put in place, to begin with, he rectified the situation. This is the type of president the American people have and we are better off because of it. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.